Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. I've got the SkyQ here and I'm going to show you how the SkyQ will operate if you do not have a Sky subscription. So removing the Sky card obviously would be the best way to show you. So, which I have done that. And basically it goes back to its default setting of there's no registered card and basically if you if you have the hd pack the hd pack basically changes all the channels from being standard definition to hd versions replacing the numbers automatically so you don't have to look for them on a higher number say like um some of the the, the channels on the free set or um on a uh, free view so yeah so as you can see, the opening intro on Sky has been replaced with a standard definition version, which make, doesn't make very good for your eyes. <laughs> I'll tell you that for sure, especially on a 60 plus TV. This is a 75 inch, so you know, obviously it looks even worse. You can't watch standard definition really on these bigger screens now. You have to obviously have HD and above preferably 4k but most likely like I said, 720 and above is acceptable 1080p looks great 4k looks stunning but let's get on to that so i'm pressing the home button this is what happens here it says to use this service you need to upgrade your sky your um your subscription why did i say sky i feel like i'm so used to seeing sky so that's that's complete blank screen doesn't do anything uh, the TV guide still works, but as you can see, the the channels have stayed on the HD versions on the free ones. But if you look at Witness and Atlantic, they're all standard definition ones. But again, I alliterate, they don't work. What only works is obviously the ones that are free, so BBC BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five, and so on. Your recorder doesn't work. Can't access it. Can't even view the recordings that you have. So that's a, a big ooh no. Catch up TV again. Nothing on demand. Again, nothing. Sky Cinema need to upgrade. But we get the idea. Sky Store, yeah, yeah. Which is annoying because you kind of paid for your purchases. So you should really be able to use it. But the idea is that the hardware is leased to you. And when you finish your subscription, that you return it. So basically, it's of no use to you anyway. Sports again, yep. And it goes on. Setting still comes up, and you can see that satellite works, the network connection works, the Sky Go, uh, watch via Sky Go doesn't work, and the Sky Q Mini. So that's, that's the point. The multi room on the Sky Plus HD box is all used in individual satellite feeds, and what that meant was that every satellite obviously connected to the dish itself. They didn't go through the master box, which is the Q box here, to then get their signals. So there's Sky Q minis. You don't even get the BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Channel Four, Channel Five working still. They're just completely disabled. And again, like help, those still work. So I guess that would be to fix it if you had a billing issue and you had to fix it. You could go through the the help and then again my score sky um uh, my sky for bills and payments and other things and upgrades yep all in all it doesn't work because unlike the sky plus hd box that allowed free sat sky 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 free sat free sat with sky i think it was called free sat from sky that was what it was called free sat from sky which basically stopped last year for new customers it continues for people that um 
already opted into that um, that uh, subscription. So what that meant was you paid five pounds a month for your Sky Plus HD box to have a working viewing card that allowed you to use the box for its record functions and um, on-demand services. But um, obviously with the, the, the Sky Plus HD boxes, once the contract ended, you own those boxes. So you didn't give them back to Sky. Whereas these ones, you have to give them back to Sky unless you pay a um, hardware fee, which can be anywhere between two to 300 pounds if you want to keep the hardware. Um, that's bear in mind unless your contract was like mine and it was written differently because it's, I've been with them for so long but uh, hey ho facto it's essentially that the hardware obviously is only in your living room whilst you have a subscription once it has ceased you return it back to Sky so they've not given you any free services whatsoever other than the, the main box still functioning for the free to air channels for the short period of time that you would still have it before you had to send it back. It's annoying, I know, but that's how they they that's how they set it up. So no freebies basically. And um, yeah, so as I said, for the apps, YouTube it instantly starts working. <laughs> Fortunately, and there is no five pound deal like i said for a free set um from sky for the q box it's purely relies on a subscription service so if you like i said it i think i've said this before if you don't have a subscription you, the box is useless to you you're better off um sending it back and buying yourself 4k free set box to um replace it with so if you wanted to watch the on-demand channels and all the other things but yeah it's um so that's pretty interesting obviously with the sky tv once you have no subscription with them obviously it's a tv that you own outright it's not something that you rent it's got a terrestrial connection but essentially will the app still function after you ditch your subscription with sky Obviously, I'm going to find out soon because they finally got my size um, and colour that I wanted. So that'll be coming out uh, very soon. So I'll be testing that out and obviously doing like I did with the Sky Q. Um, so I'll actually have three platforms. I have the Sky Plus HD box, the Sky Q and the Sky TV box. The TV, sorry. Okay, so... Um, that concludes the video. Um, I hope this helped you or it didn't. It's really hard to say sometimes, but if you could do that thumbs up for me, that I appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe and bye for now.